I want to say a few words about Jeremy Corbyn's Labour leadership election campaign uh, and what that might mean for the Green Party and how the Green Party should actually react and, and align itself with uh, Jeremy Corbyn. Uh, and, and just like everybody else, I've been absolutely taken by surprise by, by the incredible momentum and, and popularity of Jeremy Corbyn's campaign for the Labour leadership. He, his uh, left of centre anti-austerity programme seems to be attracting massive support uh, in the Labour Party within the trade union movement and, and, and particularly amongst young people. Uh, he's commanding massive audiences uh, his uh, campaign meetings, he's getting huge media attention uh, and he's actually looking like he's got a damn good chance of, of winning the leadership contest. But, well, personally I, I wish him the best of luck and I, I really do hope that Jeremy Corbyn does become uh, the, the, the leader of the Labour Party. I think he'd be a great leader. Uh, but his success or otherwise do, does actually raise some quite difficult but very important questions for the Green Party. Uh, and, and, and I think the first and, and, and most important point is that Jeremy Corbyn is, is, is gathering support for his campaign on, on, on the basis of policies that are very close, if, if not identical, to the, to the policies of the Green Party, uh, including anti-austerity, fair taxes, building more affordable homes, uh, tackling clim climate change, uh, public ownership of the railways, nuclear disarmament. That, that there's a, a, an incredible similarity between what Jeremy Corbyn is arguing for as his vision and the, the vision of the Green Party. And, and, and if Jeremy Corbyn does win the, uh, the, the, the leadership election and he does persuade Labour members and the affiliated trade unions to, to support his policies, then the, the question's got to be asked, what's the point of the Green Party? Uh, and, and really this is the debate that, that the Green Party can't afford. We, we've got to have that debate because our, our, our future as a, an independent, left of centre, progressive political party depends upon discussing and developing plans about how we relate to and work with the tens of thousands of people in the Labour Party and the trade union movements and elsewhere who have been energised and, and who are coalescing uh, around Jeremy Corbyn and his ideas and, and his vision. And, and, and I think we ignore this phenomena at our peril. If, if we treat Jeremy Corbyn's campaign as the internal machinations of another political organisation, which is nothing to do with us as a Green Party, then, then I, I think that's going to put ourselves as a party in, in deep, deep trouble. And, and as somebody who's standing for the Green Party executive and who's seeking your vote, I say that it's important for the Green Party to engage with Jeremy Corbyn. And, and, and I believe that our leaders should be meeting with Corbyn and his team uh, to, to develop ways of working together nationally, regionally, uh, and locally to promote the, the many ideas that we have in common. Uh, we're already doing it to an extent here in Thanet. We've done some joint work through the People's Assembly uh, on defending migrants, uh, especially in view of the nasty backlash that, that's been happening here in Kent because of the Dover and Cali situation. Uh, we're also talking about working together on uh, affordable housing uh, and benefit sanctions as well. Uh, and I'm hoping that Green parties are across the country are doing similar things. We, we do need that level of, of engagement. But 
by developing those links and, and, and working with the Corbyn campaign, I don't think that necessarily means that we are in any way supporting the Labour Party as it now stands and as it is now constituted. Uh, and, and nor does it mean that, that we are sacrificing the, the independence of the Green Party or or taking the first steps to, towards a liquidation of the Green Party. Quite the reverse. Uh, working with Corbyn and his supporters, in my opinion, serves to strengthen the progressive left in British politics and, and to develop a, a much bigger, uh, a more powerful and credible alternative to austerity. But having said that, uh, a Corbyn victory is not going to be a, a straightforward matter because even if he does win the, the, the Labour leadership election, the, the parties are going to be thrown into turmoil and, and, and almost certainly a, a bitter internal civil war. Because I, I simply don't believe that the right-wing Blairites uh, are going to simply sit back and, and accept the democratic wishes of, of party members to, to have Corbyn and his ideas as the future direction for the Labour Party. And they're going to fight tooth and nail to undermine him, to destabilise him, uh, and more than likely that they'll probably plan a coup to topple him. And even though it's not our party, uh, I think if this is what's happened, if this is what happens and a, and a, and a civil war does break out in the Labour Party, then, then it, I think it's incumbent upon the Green Party to openly support Corbyn and his ideas uh, and his struggle to fend off the challenges and conspiracies of the right wing of the Labour Party. Now, if he wins that struggle, then it's certain, I would think, that, that many of the Blairites uh, and, and, and many of the uh, old school right wing of the Labour Party will leave the organisation. Uh, and, and I think it, it will automatically start to become uh, much more socially and environmentally progressive than, than it now is. Wh which means, uh, as I said earlier, that, that the Labour Party, rid of its right wing, could, could actually become a, a progressive organisation with which the Greens can do business uh, and cooperate with. Uh, so so the, there is a, a vested interest for us to support Corbyn in, in any difficulties and, and, and uh, civil war that may result from him being elected by the party members democratically uh, to its leadership. Uh, now if he loses that struggle on the other hand, or, or in fact if he doesn't win the leadership uh, election, then I'm sure that many of those thousands of people who, who have voted for Corbyn, who have been won over by his ideas and inspired by his, 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 his vision and his policies, many of those people are, are quickly going to become disillusioned with the Labour Party. Uh, and, and I think many of them may, may well leave the Labour Party and, and, and a good few of them move over to the Green Party uh, because they, they will know that we are the organisation through our engagement with, uh, with Jeremy Corbyn's campaign. We are an organisation that's supported uh, and encouraged Jeremy Corbyn. We've worked with his supporters and his campaign team uh, and we're espousing policies almost identical to, to, to those of Corbyn's. So even if a successful Corbyn is toppled, or even if Corbyn's campaign doesn't lead to his election, I think it will do no harm whatsoever to the Green Party to be working closely with Corbyn and his team to be saying encouraging things and showing our support and working jointly at a local, national, regional level with Corbyn to, to promote his ideas and his vision. Uh, so, you know, I think we will gain from that as well. But most importantly, I think 
it's no exaggeration to say that what's happening in the Labour Party over these past few months uh, has been astonishing and, 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 and absolutely amazing, especially for, for myself, who, you know, four years ago was a member of the Labour Party. I mean, it's, it's, it's absolutely incredible uh, to, to see what's happening. And, and I think it's, without exaggerating, I, I think it's one of the most exciting and important political developments that's taken place on, on the progressive left of, of our politics for, for, for a generation. It, it really is of that order of importance. And, and that's why it's absolutely critical whatever the outcome might be, that the Green Party should be actively engaging with and cooperating with Jeremy Corbyn and his supporters. And, and certainly if I'm elected to the National Executive of the Green Party, I'm going to be arguing strongly for that approach to be followed. Because whether Corbyn wins or, or loses the leadership election, uh, our principles, our policy and, and, and our vision for the future of this country are very, very much tied up with the seismic struggle that's taking place in the Labour Party now. And, and to turn our backs on this massive opportunity is, is really to, to consign the, the Green Party to the political wilderness. It's of a, such a magnitude, in my opinion,